in this video you will learn frequent item set mining methods so what is item set the, the set of items together is called item set for example we have sets here one two three four five another set is one two three and we have another set three four five so we have items that is together is called item set so what is frequent item set the items are repeating frequently in sets this is called frequent item set for example this is one two three it is repeating frequently in both sets so it is frequent item set same as three four five three four five so this is frequent item set we have three approaches to find frequent item set mining one is a priori algorithm second is fp growth frequent pattern growth algorithm third one is frequent pattern mining with vertical data format in this part we will see a priori algorithm before i jump to the a priori algorithm i would recommend you please subscribe my youtube channel then you can get notification for new videos let's jump on the a priori algorithm in a priori algorithm we will use two terms sport and confidence what is sport sport is how many times an item is occurring in database or in transaction for sport for uh, to find out sport we have formula occurrence of a divided by total number of transactions confidence is a conditional probability that we will discuss at the end to solve a priori algorithm we have three easy steps step one is count in this step we will count an items how many times an item is occurring in transactions in step two that is pruning we will check the items uh, the occurrence of item is equal to minimum support or not if it is not uh, equals to minimum support so then we will take it out from the database after pruning we will do joining rest of the items so let's start the example we have database that has four transactions 10 transaction id is 10 acd transaction id is 20 bce transaction id is 30 abce and 40 be we have minimum support two so our first step is to count the items how many times items are occurring so a how many times a is occur occurred one and two b one two and three c one two and three d d just appeared one and uh, e one two and three i'm just uh, giving the name of this c1 and this is l1 that is pruning in pruning we will check uh, how many items are equals to the minimum support so a is equal to minimum support okay so we will write it here 2 b is 3 c is 3 d is 1 that's why i take it out from here so e is equal to 3 so now the third the first step was counting the items second step was pruning the items that are less than minimum support and third step is joining these rest of items so i am joining a b a c a e and now b c b e and then ce so 
now we have new item sets these are item sets so that's why i am putting brackets okay so now we will repeat our three steps again um, so we will count how many times a and b occurred together so a and b uh, just one time so right one these are item sets and sport ac one and two ac two now a a is uh, just one and then bc bc one and two and then be be one and two three and the last is c e one two counting c2 because we count second okay so now we have to do pruning that i am giving it name is l2 so we will take out those item sets that are not equal to our minimum support so i will take out a b and a e so rest of a c two a b c two b e three and c e is two in third step we will join rest of the item set that uh, a b c and uh, and then b c e b c e so now we have two item sets there is another set a c e it is occurring just one time so that's why i take it out because our minimum support is two so now we will repeat our step step one is counting so i'm giving it i'm giving the name for counting is c3 so now we will count how many times a b c occurs together so a b c no no just one time so a b c just one time okay and then next is b c e so how many times b c e is occurred here uh, you can see clearly one and two so b c e is two so now we will do pruning that i'm giving the name l3 so we just find out b c e that is equal to two this is the a priori algorithm in next video you will see fp growth thank you for watching i will catch you in next video